Hey guys, it's Jeffs here from Ace Tutorials and in today's video we're going to have a look at how we can access our Kibana dashboard for a VPC enabled Elasticsearch domain. So uh, before we get started, you're obviously going to have to make sure you've got an Elasticsearch cluster up and running. So now, when an Elasticsearch cluster is in a VPC, if you try to access the uh, Kibana URL, this is what happens. So it will just time out after some time so you can see here it's spinning and eventually it's going to time out so <clears throat> in order to well if you're working in a dev environment and you need to access this URL to see if your indexing is working for example the only way to access this is on the network the same network as the VPC Obviously, if you're in the dev environment, you might want to access it off that network or on a local host or something. So that's what we're going to go through in this video. So <clears throat> what we're going to need to do is if you go back to our console, if we go to our EC2. So what we're going to do is going to launch a Amazon Linux instance. I'm just going to choose the this one right here. I'm just going to leave it as T2 micro. So now uh, we're going to leave the number of instances to one because that's all I need for this video. For the network, you're going to want to go ahead and choose your VPC. So this is my VPC here. For a subnet, you want to make sure it's on the same subnet as our Elasticsearch cluster. So if you go back to Elasticsearch, if you go to VPC here, you should see which subnet it's on. So you can see the security group, the VPC is here, security group, and the subnet that it's on. So if you go back to the EC2, you can see I've selected the VPC, and the subnet is this one here. So for the auto assign public IP, I've configured my, v my VPC to automatically assign it. Um, so I'm going to leave this for the default option. If you guys aren't sure if your VPC is configured that way, then just go ahead and, and enable it. Now, we don't need to change anything else on this side. So we're going to go ahead and click Next. I'm just going to leave the storage the same. So I'll, I'll click Next. Now for the tag, we're going to want to go ahead and add a tag. I'm uh, just going to call it Name. Then we're going to... I'm going to call mine a Bastion Host because that's pretty much what it is. But you guys can go ahead and call it whatever you guys want. So next, the security group. So I've already got the security group created, as you've seen, I showed you on the Elasticsearch cluster, which is this one here. If you guys need to create a new security group, then you're going to want to allow the SSH access on port 22. And also you're going to need to allow access on port 443 as well, because we're going to need that for later on. Uh, as I've already got a security group, I'm going to go ahead and go to existing and then I'm going to choose this one here I know my own is currently showing all traffic's allowed I know it's not secure but it's just for this tutorial anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and review this and then you can see here it gives you a warning about the security group being open which is completely fine for now as it's just a tutorial it's not like it's a prod environment or anything or a real working environment but um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and launch it. Now, <clears throat> I've actually created a, a key pair already. So what you guys will need to do if you haven't created a key pair is if you go to... Uh, we'll just go here. Okay, let's go back to our console quickly and I'll show you. So in EC2, you can... On the left-hand side, there's key pairs there. So if you go there and you create a new key pair, you'll call it uh, whatever you want. Uh, I don't know. Test. and then it will download it here then this file is the one that you're going to have to well, you're going to assign to the EC2 instance but that's pretty much what you would do so I'm just going to choose the one I've already created so I'm going to go ahead and acknowledge that, launch the instance so now the, the instance shouldn't take too long to launch so you can see it's currently spinning up, it's got a name here that we assigned to it it's initializing, okay so now 
what we're gonna do is while that's launching we'll open up the terminal because there's something we're gonna have to do and by the way if you guys just created your keep here and it's downloaded what you're gonna need to do is um, move that keep here to your .ssh folder so I'm just gonna go cd .ssh and then as you can see I've got my uh, pen file right here in my .ssh folder and then what you guys are going to also need to do once you do copy it across or move it across to your .ssh folder you need to give it the permissions of 400 because that's the permissions that the pen keys need or even yeah so to do that if you don't know is the trimod 400 that's the permission that we uh, need for this and then obviously it's going to be ace then you basically just click enter and then that will assign it now if we do ls minus al you can see on the left hand side here the permissions that we've got assigned to it yeah it's so only our user has got read access to it um, anyway that's all we need to do for that now what we're going to want to do is I'm going to create a file called config so now once we create that file uh, I'm just going to edit it within the terminal so I'm going to go view I'll actually full size it so you guys can see it better I'm going to go view uh, config okay and then insert okay so now this config file is going to be the file that we use to create the local um, port forwarding from our machine to the ec2 or the bastion host so first off we're going to want to do a hashtag so we're going to call this elastic search elastic search tunnel then after this uh, we're going to type host and then this name can be whatever you want it to be it's pretty much going to be a shortcut for when we do the ssh tunnel later on so for this tutorial i'm going to call it es tunnel then for the third row or line sorry we're going to do host name now for the host name if we I'm just gonna minimize this quickly for the host name it can either be the public dns so whether the, whatever the public dns um, name is we can either use that or we can use the public ipv4 address for this tutorial i'm just going to go ahead and use the uh, should I select it a bit better so yeah for this tutorial i'm just going to go ahead and use the public ipv4 address but you can use either the IPv4 public or the public DNS name. So if I go back to my terminal, I'm just going to paste in the IP address. Okay, and then after that, we're going to want to type in user. So this user is basically the username for the EC2 instance, right? Your our host machine. So for Amazon Linux machines, the username is usually EC2 user. So EC2 hyphen user. If you did go for another AMI, then the username can vary. Uh, I know sometimes it can be Ubuntu, depending on what build you've uh, spun up. But as we've used a Amazon Linux, the username is, is it's EC2 user. Okay, so now we're going to type in identity, sorry, identities only, and then we're going to set that to yes. Then after that, we're basically going to type identity. Whoa, whoa. Uh, identity file. Now, this file, this identity file section, is pretty much the exact path for where our pen key is. So for me, it's in our SSH folder. So I'm going to do that and then forward slash the name of the uh, pen key so for mine is ace vpc key dot pen so make sure you put the full path for your key and also the name the full name for the key and after that we're going to want to type in local forward then we're going to set that to port 9200 so now what we need to do is go to our SS, um, sorry, our Elasticsearch cluster. If 
we go to overview, the VPC endpoint address is what we're going to need to copy now. So we just want to copy it up until the uh, VPC. So we just copy that. We go back to our terminal. Uh, we paste it. Then we want to do colon, then port 443. And that's pretty much it. So I'm just going to go ahead and save that now. Okay, that's saved. So now what we pretty much need to do is test it out. So if we go SSH minus capital N and then the shortcut that we set, so ES tunnel, enter. It's going to ask us if we want to authenticate with this. Uh, we'll go yes. Then this is what you guys should see. It should hang. So then if we go ahead and test it now, what we're going to have to do is uh, if you type in HTTPS, code on forward slash forward slash, and then we do local host, and then our port 9200, then if we just end, if we just type in this URL and enter it, it should give us this, your connection is not private, warning. If you go advanced and then proceed, it should then show us our cluster. So if we get to this screen, then it means it's working. So if you want to get access to your Elastic, your uh, Kibana dashboard, all we need to do now is just basically add this bit onto the end of our local uh, host. So if you just copy the underscore plugin for slash Kibana, and we go back to local host, and we do forward slash, and we just paste it there, it should take us to our Kibana. And then if we just go discover, I've already got my uh, Kibana configured, so that's why I've got this index right here, which you can see is showing my item. So I've actually got my uh, DynamoDB table indexed into my Kibana table, so that's how this item here is uh, being shown. But if you guys want to, if, if you guys haven't set up your Kibana before, then you'll get a different screen. Then what you have to do is go discover, and then set up your indexing but yeah there you go guys that's how you access a kibana dashboard in a vpc enabled elastic search domain um now i know that if you're in a dev environment you don't want this ec2 instance to be running constantly so in another video i'm gonna create a way of uh, we uh, manually well not manually but for this instance to shut down automatically so we're going to do that either using cron or I might do some CloudFormation stuff as well, actually. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned. And guys, if that video did help you out, then please do leave a like on the video and please do subscribe.